Uh, hi, my name is uh, Jim Pesum. I'm an interventional cardiologist at Mind Valley Hospital. Uh, interventional cardiology, we're primarily concerned with vascular disease, uh, focused primarily on the heart, uh, dealing with uh, coronary artery disease, uh, and it's the most common uh, uh, significant health issue that's uh, facing America today, uh, typically associated with folks uh, who would think about heart attacks, blocked coronary arteries. Uh, we primarily involved in the uh, treatment diagnosis of uh, coronary artery disease and vascular disease. Uh, we're involved in procedures that uh, are designed, again, to diagnose the process and treat it frequently with procedures uh, uh, typically known as angioplasty. Oftentimes, uh, now, we will use uh, technology involving stents, uh, thin slotted metal tubes which we uh, uh, insert into the blocked arteries, uh, almost like a scaffolding uh, type device to keep the arteries open, uh, often used uh, for patients in the middle of a heart attack or uh, what we would call an un unstable coronary syndrome type of situation that would uh, subsequently lead to heart attacks. Uh, it's a pretty typical type of work that we do at Mount Valley Hospital. Uh, our procedures are done, as we say, uh, under local generally. That's with uh, some uh, mild sedation, but uh, uh, patients are gen generally kept awake. Uh, it's done with a local uh, infiltration. We put uh, lidocaine or uh, local anesthetic uh, over a blood vessel and then we uh, insert uh, tubes and sheaths into the blood vessels and that's how we get access to the heart through the uh, peripheral circulation through the peripheral blood vessels. If it's just a diagnostic study, uh, usually you know, 10 to 20 minutes we can be finished fairly quickly. Uh, if the study requires additional work such as stents, uh, time can vary greatly depending on how complex, how many blood vessels have to be managed, whether there's uh, any other additional work that sometimes has to be done if uh, folks are very, very sick uh, at times in the middle of a heart attack that would require uh, us to insert devices that actually assist the heart in terms of its pump function. So it can vary uh, from as short as 20 to 30 minutes to several hours depending on the complexity of the procedure. If we're just doing the procedure as a diagnostic procedure, uh, just to try to detect the presence or the absence of a problem, that's usually done as an outpatient uh, and patients will go home that same day. Uh, oftentimes when we do have to perform an actual procedure, it can oftentimes be in the middle of an event such as a heart attack, in which case uh, the patients will have to stay several days because of the heart attack itself and uh, not so much uh, primarily from the procedure.